Hello love, here are a couple of products that will fit perfectly into your hair care routine. Pre-poo treatment oil and hair and scalp oil. Here are the pre-poo ingredient lists. And following will be the benefits of each of these uh, ingredients. This is one of my clients who struggle with uh, psoriasis. Um, she, it's been about a week and a half or two. So she's been having some serious flare up. And so we are doing a pre-poo uh, treatment before we shampoo her hair. So if you struggle with any type of dandruff, psoriasis, um, flaky, dry scalp, a pre-poo is an excellent option to do before you uh, shampoo your hair. And what it does is really just nourish uh, the hair and scalp, which helps to reduce breakage since dry scalp um, typically results um, in breakage. Here I am applying uh, the oil directly to her scalp. You can apply it directly to the specific area you want to target, or you can apply it to the um, entire scalp. I would say apply it to the entire scalp so that you're conditioning every strand of your hair. It's a very lightweight oil. It is not thick at all, so it spreads easily. Uh, through the uh, scalp. Once you're done applying the oil, you want to make sure you gently massage the oil into the scalp to spread it evenly. Um, you just want it to be even all over the scalp. The oil blend does the heavy lifting for you by lifting flakes, dandruff, and dead skin off the scalp so you don't have to do that much work on, in the shampoo bowl. It cleanses the scalp while soothing, strengthening, and protecting the scalp and hair. So this is pretty much what her scalp looks like after I've massaged the oil into her hair. As you can see, it breaks down the flakes and dandruff, um, so there's not much there. Some of it have dissolved, but for the most part, it just breaks it down. And we haven't even shampooed her hair yet, and look how um, her scalp look. It's not as uh, flaky. Um, it looks pretty clean for just putting in the uh, pre-poo oil in her hair prior. You still have some patches, but for the most part, the majority of it has been broken down. And so we're just doing the shampoo. Right now, I would suggest that you do a clarifying shampoo twice and then a moisturizing shampoo um, the third time, okay? And then you go, um, go into your conditioner. So clarify twice, then a moisturizing shampoo, because you want to make sure you get rid of all the flakes, the dead um, skin. Um, so clarifying will be your best friend in this situation. And this is what her hair looks like. After the shampoo, we have not retightened the hair yet. Um, and for the most part, as you can see, her scalp is looking clean and good and healthy. And this is what her scalp looks like after the retightening. I followed it up with a tea tree, with the uh, tea tree mint shampoo. I recommend the tea tree because it's gonna help keep the dandruff at bay, help keep any um, flakes, um, minimize the uh, flare-ups from the psoriasis is going to keep all of that at bay okay check it out link is in the description and thank you for watching